Uh, I apologize for using the laptop uh, camera because uh, I already set up no worries. everything already. So Just, no do worries. Got to do it. Are we live, Cut? Welcome to the Riz Show, guys. Today is a special, special episode. We got our bachelorettes and we have our candidates bachelors fighting for our bachelorettes in Gaon Lonsi, which uh, she'll be on in, uh, in a couple minutes here. She's on the other um, Discord. And um, yeah, today's a special episode. Welcome aboard. And um, Peter, you got anything to say? I said, enjoy the show, man. So, you know, I'm not going to be, I'm, I'm going to be behind the scenes today, just operating the live and chatting it up with you guys, with you viewers. Uh, stay tuned also for next week. Should I, should I say that now or uh, should I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, yeah, we should. Yeah. Okay. So I already said it, right? Next week episode, we're going to do another Riz February episode with another guest. And then we're going to review, reveal that guest at the end of the show. So stay tuned to that. Um, that's all I got, man. Let's get this. Let's get this love matchmaking cool. going. Um, so during this whole show, I'm gonna give you guys all process as we go. So in the beginning of the show, uh, how it's gonna go? You know what? Let's just let's just bring everybody in. How about that? Sounds good, brother. Let's get everybody in. Come on, come on, get everybody in. Sounds good. All right, y'all. Let's see. She is on. Uh, can you turn on your mic and your your camera for uh, the beautiful audience? Yep. Um, there you go. On. I don't know why it's not switching. <laughs> you, okay, you wanna you wanna introduce introduce her first, and then get everybody else, or everybody all at once. We get everybody. Yeah, you guys see my cameras? Hold on, no. she she is having some technical difficulty yeah, right now, so we're gonna give give us a second because she's <laughs> gonna fix our camera and then we could uh, continue with this. I could enter. Um, okay, hold on, give me a second. I'll be right back. Um, hello, Lamb. What's up, brother? Yeah, uh, Wind. What's up? How you doing, Brian? What's going on? Uh, your brother Tommy is uh, ready to go. I'm excited, man. Um, so we're still waiting for Gowlon C. She's getting uh, her camera situated. Uh, but at the meantime, we have next week as well as um, we have next week Riz February. Me and Peter are trying to hook you guys up with some love, guys. So, like, <laughs> hop on. We already, uh, next week's schedule is already packed. Uh, I think we have, like, one more spot open for uh, for tomorrow, for next week. So we're pretty excited about that. But if you are, um, if you want to hop on the show, just message me, DM me or or Peter, and um, hopefully we can get you guys hooked up with a beautiful woman. And uh, we we eventually want to do vice versa as well. Sorry, see me. Yes, Lamb. Goodbye, single life. <laughs> we're trying to get you guys uh, some some girlfriends and boyfriends. All right. Uh, um. Uh, okay, is it working? Tell me if it's working. It's, the camera's working, but we need it to be horizontal. Be, okay. be horizontal. I can't seem to make it horizontal because when I'm horizontal, you're not. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, because my uh, iPhone thing is not on too. Could we, is it, is it, you know, you know, you really need me to be horizontal. We just, we're more concerned okay. about you being horizontal. Okay, so let me... So, would this be okay? Yeah. Um, she's... Uh, she is a Vang. Homegirl yes. is a Vang. <laughs> so, no. so, I don't want no Vang brothers. Shout out, <laughs> yeah, shout out to all my uh, Vang boys out there, man. Sorry, you guys um, are giving your sister away. All right. Um, all right. So, uh, by the way, uh, if you are one of the contest contestants, you cannot be watching this stream. Okay. Um, That's a really good value. Just let point. you guys know. All right. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring everybody in. All right. And uh, we're gonna introduce ourselves. Okay. 
Hello, 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 everyone. Hi. Hello. All right, so um, we're going to do a quick introduction. Um, go ahead, uh, Galun T, you want to introduce yourself? Yes, uh, my name is Galun T. I'm Vang. So sorry to all the Vang brothers out there. <laughs> I have to tell you guys that uh, I, I don't know. Um, I think that's probably it that you guys want me to introduce, right? Okay, what's uh, what's your uh, your name and what's a passion or hobby of yours that really excites you? Um, I like to hike. I like to go hiking. So I my free time during my free time I like to go hiking. It doesn't matter where, as long as it's pretty. I enjoy nature. So camping, hiking, anything sort of that nature. No, well, where's where's the latest hike that you've hiked or like? Um, I haven't really traveled much or further, which I really want to. That's one of my goals this year. But I think Minnesota, Willows Falls, if you haven't been there, it's one of the prettiest places ever. So you should get to go check that out. <laughs> Noted. I love it. <laughs> um, uh, contestant uh, number one, uh, I believe it's Drake. Drake, can you uh, introduce yourself? Do not show your camera. Just in introduce yourself. Your name, what's a passion, a hobby of yours that you've been really excited about lately? All right, uh, my name is Drake Vang. Sorry, Monsing Va. <laughs> but then, um, Wait, you're, you're Vang? <laughs> yeah, bro, this is. I'm not Davy Yang, bro. I can't do this. <laughs> Peter, yeah. what's going on, Peter? Yeah, what's okay. going on? Um, hey, yo! <laughs> Peter, how do we, how do we miss this? Hey, yeah. man. Hey, man, you know what I'm saying? It's just, uh, you only live once, you know? Yeah. <laughs> you only, you only live one, dog. <laughs> Straight to round two. Um, but Drake, uh, just play the show, man. Uh, I know we ain't yeah. no David Yang stuff. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, pretend she's a pretend she's a king, right today. Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, something a hobby of yours. What's what's something oh, you're passionate about? Honestly, I would just really like going to school. I wanna. Um, Ooh. Yeah. Uh, I want to become a therapist, oh, um, major okay. in psychology and all that, and I really like taking care of everybody around me when I can. Damn, passionate. Okay. You, you, yeah. you, you, you a mama's boy? You, you gotta be a mama's yeah, boy, huh? Yeah. I mean, I can I know, never I know you feel, bro. knowing how my mom's taught me. I mean, she taught me well, so. Yeah. I love it. Love it. Um, cool. Uh, contestant number two. Uh, can you introduce yourself, your name, and uh, your passion? Well, hobby yours. Uh, Peter. Uh, Peter? Are you, right, we're going to go to contestant you, number three. You're talking about a, key, a, a key uh, hero, right? A key hero? You're not talking about me. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Kiro, he's. No, that's his name is Peter too. Oh my bad! I thought you were talking about Peter, the other Peter. My, so yeah, I can hear that me. Okay, cool. Uh, Peter, can you um introduce yourself and what's the passion of yours and what hobby that you've been excited? No, oh, yeah, definitely. So like I said, um, my name is Peter. One of the things I love and I'm passionate about is cooking. I love cooking because mm. I feel like it's one of those love languages that you can give to other. You know, when you love somebody, you cook for them. And when they love you back, they cook for you. You know, and there's so many different types of foods out there in the world that, you know, you can just get creative with. So cooking is definitely a passion of mine. What's, what, what's one thing you will make for a uh, first date? Oh, first date? You know, um, let's see. I'm good at pasta. Pasta is really good. But you know, Ooh, I go my favorite. Pasta, oh, pasta! Let's see. I love like a Alfredo chicken Alfredo, so delicious. And I always mm. make the best ones, super creamy too and cheesy, delicious. But aside from that, Korean barbecue is my favorite. Keeping it simple, love it. Yeah. Uh, contestant number three, uh, Tommy, introduce yourself. Your name, your passion, hobby, of yours, something you're excited about. All uh, right. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, my name is uh, Tommy. I'm a uh, Mengxiang. Uh, my hobbies are anything outdoors. I love hunting and fishing, just like every typical Hmong guy. Uh, but just recently, I also got into snowboarding. So anything outdoors, I'll do it. Nice. Damn. Okay. Um, 
what's something you've uh like hunt like what's up like do you like hunting squirrels deers oh everything uh, if it moves i shoot it i'm just joking uh just recently um i went duck hunting so that was uh pretty fun bam okay cool we have uh, a person that can it, uh, we have drake that cannot kill a fly and we have a person that kills literally <laughs> every animal yeah i love it i love it i love it all right cool um so everybody introduce himself. Uh, we're gonna have to start with the first round. The first round, um, Goblin C, you have the question. Um, you can go ahead and start with. Uh, we're gonna start with Drake. Uh, Drake, um, and then we'll move on to. Okay. Uh, Peter, you have two minutes. This is two minute round. Uh, each person one question, and the the table is yours. Okay. So for Drake, my question for you is. How do you know when you're in love? Um, sorry, the question was, how do I know that I'm in love? When you're in love. I think I know I'm in love when, um, I'm a very big family person. Like, I'm very family oriented. And I know that I'm in love when the lady or my significant other of the time can treat my family the same way that I treat them. Okay. And that's when I know I'm in love. Fair. Yeah. Like what's what's one thing? What like what would they do? Like does she like you know um, cater? Does she what does she do to like show you that love, like um, to the family? Make something specific. I think my, so. My love language is quality time and physical touch. So Ooh. maybe if she just loves me physically the right way. <laughs> okay, fair. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what do you what mean physically the, the, the right way? Like cuddles? <laughs> make out um, sessions? <laughs> I mean, um, so fun fact, I had brain cancer diagnosed in 2022. So I should have good brain to get to help heal my brain cancer, right? <laughs> um, sorry to hear, man. Yeah, I'm um, sorry to hear. Sorry, don't be sorry. Still here. Fun. Are you are you okay now? Yeah, I help you fight um, through. Yeah, I'm alright now. Congrats. I'm glad to hear that good news. Can see any um any anything you want to say? Um, keep fighting. Don't give up. Um, I lost my cousin due to cancer, so I definitely know what it feels like. So, don't give up. That's all I can say. And you're really courageous for even coming on here. <laughs> so I give you props for trying. <laughs> Mad love. Oh, cool. That was two minutes. Um, all right. Uh, going on to uh, contestant number two. Okay. So for Peter. contestant number two, who's, what's their name? Peter. <laughs> Peter. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Let me choose this question. <laughs> Okay, what are your exceptions regarding emotional and physical intimacy? Yo, that's a pretty good question. So, um, <laughs> hold up, hold up a minute. You said, uh, <laughs> re re repeat that one question one more time because it got oh. me thinking a little bit. My bad. What are your exceptions regarding emotional and physical intimacy? Exceptions, uh, you know, like, uh, ooh. So I'm just so stunned by your voice, you know. I'm just trying to think right now. <laughs> exceptions, like, uh, you know, I'd say some exceptions are like just. You mean like not that's not good or what's okay? That's the thing I'm kind of questioning on right now. Okay, so yeah. I think uh, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, it, I think expectations. I think Frankie wrote that. Yeah. Oh, expectations. What are your expectations? expectations. <laughs> okay, expectations. I got you. I got your intimacy. So for me, my fault, I my feel fault. like. It's a love language for me for the expectations what I expect from somebody from intimacy. It's just like quality time, you know, this um, one on one time, you know what I'm saying? It's like just not just like small dates and stuff like that, but just like talking with one another, you know, getting to know each other emotionally. And I feel like that just like makes it to a new level, you know, when it comes to intimacy, because that's how well you know somebody is when you know them inside and out. What about physically? Physically, that's a good question, you know. I say cuddling. I love to cuddle, you know. I'm the type of a cuddler. I like to be the big spoon, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to, like, you know, on dates or, like, being the boyfriend, you know. Um, holding hands, too. Hugging. 
I like to be the more dominant one. So if I wanted to, like, we walk out the park, I like to grab her hand, you know, say, you know, take her for a walk, stuff like that, you know, just that physical touch from that one person that that makes it that much special, you know, because I feel like doing it with anybody else with that one person, it just shows a lot. Solid. Um, cool. Your yeah, time is up. And uh, contestant number three. And Colin, you want to ask a question? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Sorry, give me a second. Okay, so contestant number three, what is the deal breaker for you in a relationship? The deal breaker as in like, it'll make the relationship good or the deal breaker as in like, it'll ruin the relationship? I think more so like ruin the relationship. Ruin the relationship. Both. Okay, so the deal breaker for the relationship is most importantly when she is not showing that intimacy or, you know, she she's not giving me the attention that I need and that emotion connection that emotional connection is just like disconnected and you know, that's not there no more, you know, because you gotta vibe with each other for you know, forever. So that's that's the deal breaker for me. Give me an incident that give me an example like that she need to cook for you or this is yeah I was gonna ask is like more so like your love language everything you know so you you gotta spend time with each other you gotta talk to each other every day of course Um, you know if that's not happening then what's what's the point of a relationship. So little things you know like spending time with each other talking with each other. You know, having that love language, like holding hands, cuddling, all that stuff. If if that's not there, then what's the point of a relationship? That's true. You're not wrong. How much is too much and how much is too little? Oh, there's no such thing as too much. No, there is too little. Mm. It goes over one day and I'm not talking to my girl, then it's over. I don't, that's, it's a, not over. that's a good question. But... Okay, I like that. Okay, cool. Um, that's a good answer. Good answer. G- Go around, guys. Holy crap. Um, I mean, I, I know who to choose. Ooh. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna get you on the other room real quick, and okay. uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so go and see you stay here. I want to drag everybody else into the okay men's awesome. waiting room. And I'm gonna go. All right, go and see. Moment of truth. I already know who you might want to eliminate already from the top. <laughs> but um, <laughs> who 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 do you want to eliminate the first round? I feel so bad for him. And after what he said, it makes me feel even ten times worse, but I'm gonna have to eliminate consistent number one. I think his name was Drake. <laughs> Drake. Just because he's he a big thing though. If he, uh-huh. if he wasn't a vein, it would be different. If, if he wasn't a vein, though, you think he'll be potential? Yeah, but it's just because he's a vein, and I'm not gonna go down mm. the road. <laughs> I'm not gonna go down that route. All right, this this was this was on Peter this time. But man. but but yeah, if like, he but he but <laughs> the the Drake name threw me off. But uh, if he wasn't a vein, what? No, you said that. I think vein, vein. I was gonna bad. say. <laughs> I it, I saw you know when he hit me up. Uh, I just saw Drake, and I was just. I was just captivated by Drake. Oh, you like, need to do a better job. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't. I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know your last name. It was just Golden C, and then I was like, "Wait, is right, C her like, last yeah, name, or is uh?" Well, I just assumed that Frank knew that too. So my bad. I'm a dumbass. That's my what? bad. <laughs> you know, you know it, it's one of those things that we learn and we go right. So yeah, um, it's okay. So it's okay. if <laughs> if Drake wasn't though, if Drake wasn't a Vang, you know, would he move on to the next? Um, level. Yeah, yeah. He seems really Oof. outgoing. He I'm seems like a- share a lot of like interest, and he's, I think, emotionally wise. I feel like maybe I would be more emotionally invested in him because I feel like he's more in tune with his emotions. <laughs> that's what. Uh, that's true. That's what. That's what. Like too. That's what cancer would do to you. <laughs> It make you Damn, make you mature. Man. It make you mature up. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, you you yeah. realize, oh shit, my last day could have happened. You know, and so he's yeah. he's overcoming that I shit. Had, so that's 
that's that's that's where all that wisdom comes from, you know. Yeah. Um, sh- shout out to the boy Drake, man. Uh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try to get him next round. Um, but we're gonna go to the other room and we we're gonna tell him who we're gonna eliminate, and he's gonna show his face. Okay, sounds all right, good. Ready? <laughs> all right, guys. So, um, go and see. Um, Wait. who do you want to eliminate? Um. I will have to go with Drake. <laughs> Sorry, Drake, but um, we can't be taboo. We can't be another day. We get Yeah, no problem. Sorry. <laughs> so, but I hope you, before you go, I hope you're the best. Keep being positive. Keep fighting. You know, I know you're courageous. I know you're, thank you for even joining this live and yeah. being here. So I appreciate your time. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Drake, I got you for next week, my guy. Right, please bro. don't let me do that. Yes, please. <laughs> no, she's not a vein next week, bro. I promise you that. Yeah, <laughs> this was um, uh, just a, a slight mistake. But uh, next week, we got you. Uh, but if you want to reveal your face, Drake, and... um. Yes, I would like to see your face so we can continue being friends. Hi! Right. Oh, my gosh. You lost, you lost a good man. Shit a taboo. But Drake, any last words, man? Um, I hope you find the love of your life. I mean, you got some pretty handsome men to choose from, and I wish you well. Just and have fun hiking whenever you can hike. Thank you. And I hope the same you. Text me for next week. <laughs> Hey, next week. I got you next week, bro. Like, hey, it doesn't mean we can't be friends. So if you want to connect and go hiking yeah. together. Or I can hike. Hiking, yeah. hiking buddies. Yeah. Or drinking Face buddies. Some hikers. Can, yeah, you can catch me at Unison or something. <laughs> okay, I'll see you there. <laughs> um, cool. Any, um, uh, Drake, what do you think you could have done better other than changing your last name? <laughs> um... <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I think that's the only thing. He did a pretty good job. I, you know, I, I would have picked you. I would have <laughs> picked you. Um, bye, Drake. Uh, thanks uh, for coming on, bro. Uh, I will talk to you soon, and I will look forward to next next week. Yeah. All right, just let me know. Thanks, guys. It was good meeting you guys. Tommy, Peter, good bye, luck. Drake. Hi. Hi. <laughs> You're very pretty, so. Thank you. Yeah. Watching JP. You two guys. I'll talk uh, to you. See you Maybe we'll catch up. Yeah. Bye, Jake. All right, see you guys. <laughs> cool. Um, congrats, guys. You guys made it to the next round, round number two. Uh, this round is going to be fun. Uh, it's going to be a one-on-one for five minutes, and um, we're going to go with Peter first, and then Tommy. Okay, Tommy. Tommy, I'm going to put you on on hold, and then um. We'll call you when you're up, all right? Sounds good. All right. All right, Peter. Um, do not review. Do not turn on the camera yet. Uh, round two. Okay, round two. Um, Golden Z. This table is yours. Okay. So, this is a question for all of you guys. So, or like the contestants. If you were in love with someone who compliments you in every way, gives you good head, takes care of you, and meet every one of your needs, but your parents disapprove of the relationship, what would you do? I wife her, wife her right away. <laughs> well, pretty much for me, you know, just because my parents disagree or agree with somebody doesn't mean my feelings are still valid. You know, I'm still a person too. My feelings matter, and who I love, you know, matters to me. Cause uh, so this is a story that goes way back. So my parents they loved each other, but then their parents didn't, you know, approve of that basically. So, but because my parents loved each other so much, they went ahead and went for it. You know, came to America. Boom! Here I am. I'm born. You know, what I'm saying. So without them being in love and getting together, I wouldn't be here. So I feel like for me, if my parents wouldn't approve it, it still wouldn't matter because that's the love of my life. You know, if you know she's like everything that I want in a girl. Her looks, her personality, how she treats me, how she loves me, all the above. If she fits all the qualities, all the green flags, that's who I want to be with. And that's who I love. And that's who I want to, you know, my significant other. Yeah. Love that answer. 
Yeah. I love the answer. Don't see any uh, any feedback on that? No, so far it sounds good. It's like like a perfect sound love story. <laughs> yeah. I, I I dig that. <laughs> oh man, I got the horn. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good answer. Um, Golden T, you want to continue? No, okay, yeah. <clears throat> so, <laughs> so my body count is eighteen. How do you feel about that? Ain't nothing wrong with that. Maybe the younger me, sure, it would have affected me. But I noticed that the older we get, the more that we mature, the more we have to realize and understand, you know, just because somebody's body count is high, it doesn't mean anything. You can't judge somebody from their past, you know? Because me, mine could be 18 too, you know? Would you judge me for that? So for me, just because you haven't met me yet, shouldn't affect anything that you've done in your past. Because now you have me. Okay, okay. That's okay. <laughs> how, how much, how much is, uh, too much. It, yeah. what, what about like a thousand? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. I said like a hundred or something. I don't know. That boy, that's a lot. Not me. Not me. I, like I don't have that much, but you no, know, I know some people. I know some people, but not me though. You know, not me. But if it bothers you, then ooh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'd say quite a bit. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. <laughs> A hundred is a mark. Yeah, for me, a hundred. Because, shoot, you don't know where the hundred people have been. <laughs> That's a lie. Yeah. You have to wait till it reach a hundred? Thirty is enough for me. <laughs> hey, but you never know. Some people, there's some horny ass people out there in the world, so shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Dang, I, can, I, I can see why you didn't even see because then you have a cute smile. I just can't help but notice some dimples. That's I just wanted to put that out there, but my bad, my Thank bad. You. you know, I didn't notice until now. Yeah, I right, it. Right. it's like, <laughs> oh. damn. Um, cool. Uh, you want to go with the, the last question, Kanzi? Hey, so <laughs> damn, like that smile. Oh, so cute. One, two, one, two. I love that. I'll continue, continue. I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> Okay. So... Riz it up. Riz it up. Because <laughs> actually, bro, I can't do this. Okay. So the next one is, <clears throat> I'm thinking. Uh, so, how do you feel about me if I have an OnlyFans? <laughs> you know, I see nothing wrong with that because back in the day, you know, people you would use OnlyFans oh. before, like before nudes and stuff like that were posted. And if you use it nowadays, it's okay because I see you know people using it. It's a source of income. It's a way to express yourself. That's why we use these social media platforms. You have TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, which they now call X. Lots of many things that you can express yourself on social media. It's a different you from the reality. So because you're using OnlyFans, you know I see nothing wrong with that. That's just your social media version of you on that site. Um. What what's what's the uh, is there a a line towards the OnlyFans like if she like maybe does it with other partners? No, are you okay with that. I, I'd be okay with you know as long as she's communicating with me. You know what I'm saying because <laughs> you just let me know what's going on. You know I may not be okay with it. I may be the jealous side. It kind of depends on what the situation is. Who the partner is might be another girl. So you know of course I'll be okay with that. But you know it just depends on the situation. You know but if she is. You know, she communicates with me. She tells me what's going on. She lets me know what it is. Then, hey, we just talk it out. You know, talk it out as a team. Oh, my God. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting, um, too. No, okay. <laughs> Go and see. How, are you thinking about getting all the fans or no? No. Oh, shit, dog. Why not? Maybe in my next lifetime. <laughs> you that money, dude. That's that's a good girl. Uh, that's I, you, that's, that's you, so wholesome. I I such an angel. I dig, I like that. Yeah, <laughs> stay 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 pure. Not just she's cool. not. Um, you know, she's really I mean, against. no disrespect to anyone who does it because I have friends who does it. But personally, me, I can't. Yeah. But I am curious about what other people think. So thank you for your opinion. And <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> um peter your time is up uh we'll get you on the next one uh on the we'll put you in the waiting okay that sounds good all right we'll be back. Hey. and then we have you have tommy tommy what's going on all right so uh go and see uh same question goes to tommy 
And okay. uh, Tommy, you are your time starts now. All right. Okay. Hi, Tommy. So, same question I asked earlier. So, if you were in love with someone who compliments you in every way, who gives you good heads, takes care of you, and meets every needs of yours, but your parents disapprove of her, what would you do? Hello. Uh, sorry to interrupt. You said a uh, good head. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn. That's all okay. You that's, that, that's the deal right there. Okay. So um. <laughs> You know, if uh, if I truly love that girl and she truly loves me, you know, there's nothing that should ever get in the way of, of our love. And if it means sacrificing that, then, you know, I'm willing to do it because I'm in love with her and her and me is the only thing that matters to me. So that's uh, that's where I'll stand there. What okay. if uh, her dis her parents disapprove? Shoot, we could Romeo and Juliet that thing, you know, I don't care. It's it's between okay. me and her, and that's all that matters. And if if we got to meet in the middle somehow, then we'll do it. Okay, that Love sounds. Um, you have a really good comment. Going to see the next one. Okay, so next one is so my body count is eighteen. How do you feel about that? Eighteen. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's okay, you know. I'm not one to judge. If, if it's 18, um, you know, um, that's not insanely high. So that's that's okay. Um, you mute me. No, you're killing me. Uh, I can't. I was um, so your reaction. So okay. So my question to you is, what is the normal for you? The norm. The norm, 18's okay. Um, 18. Once you hit, like, I don't know, 100 or something like that, then that's, that's like, insane. So, eight, that's, 18's okay. You know, I'm not, I'm not one to, guys, one to what judge. What is with you guys in the number 100? <laughs> oh, the, yeah. uh, 100, right. My boy Peter said 100, too? No. Yes, <laughs> no, I was like... Uh, um what what if she's like at 98 yeah damn okay that's that's still pretty high too because we got round up yeah that's that that's Ooh, round up we up 200, that's crazy. Okay. <laughs> the 80s. wild 80s mm, good to know 80s. i like something new it's like, tonight. It's like <laughs> orange um debatable depending also on how old she is but like 80 is like borderline Oh, okay. Well, I, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Noted. Noted. <laughs> um, interesting. Uh, so what, so what, what is the difference between 80 and, and 18? If you say 18, I'm gonna say you're a good girl. If you go 80, I'm gonna be like, hey, you lived your life, and you know, you, Maybe you're your or your party person or what have you and I'm okay with party people too, so Okay, okay. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, did you want me to ask the next question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, next so one. how do you feel if I were to have an OnlyFans? And only fan, you got you gotta do what you gotta do. If if you're doing that to make some money, it's it's all right, I'll support you. You know, as long as no one's touching you because if you mind, you mind, no one's touching you. Okay, good mindset. Good mindset. What if would you be okay if she had somebody else in there with her OnlyFans as an actor? A big hell nah. <laughs> she mind. No one touching her. He, he he's got he's drawing the line. Draw the yeah. line. What, what if it? What if it's a girl? Depending on how, <clears throat> how, how, um, how they feel about each other. You know, if they're just getting their job done. Cool. <laughs> now, if there's like some intimacy of some sort there, then that's debatable. Oh, that's funny. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay. Cool. Um. Guys, any any questions you want to ask? Yeah, you guys have fifteen seconds left. Uh, no. So far, everything sounds good. Damn, y'all like. 
Yeah. Okay. <laughs> for sure. Point uh, Tommy, uh, I'm going to put you on the other line and uh, we'll be right back with you, right? Sounds good. Thanks. Galon T. Um, Hold on. Sorry. Two guys are uh, these. These. This no. is pretty hard. This is pretty hard. No, it's, sorry. Um, don't mind. Who do you think you want to eliminate? Uh, thought. Um, I don't know. Their questions are very similar, but I'm gonna. I, I feel like I could. Okay, so I feel like I could be choosing the wrong choice, but. I think I'm gonna have to eliminate Tommy. <laughs> You're eliminating Tommy. Why? 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 Why is that? I feel like he's too. Okay, maybe this is kind of toxic, but maybe he's too understanding or too like <laughs> too, <laughs> too like you're pretty. <laughs> what? <laughs> hold on, hold on, give me one sec. He's too good. What are you still understanding? What that 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 throws me off. No, okay, man. okay. Let me back it up before you say something. Let me Don't back it up. What? But give me one second. So someone's knocking on my bedroom door. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. So, so she, she's, dog, she's you you should you should have seen the comments. You should have seen the comments with oh, Peter. With Peter yeah. said. With Peter Wait, said. Yeah. Didn't see any comments at all. <laughs> We have, I'm, uh, not, I'm not reading the comments too. The comment section um, is is tight, dog. God damn, it's funny. Dude, wait. So, <laughs> comments, are you are you good? Yeah. yeah okay, um, so, I have to. My my sister's knocking at my door. So give me a second, sorry. I have okay, to like. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, brb. Um, that's interesting. Holy macaroni and cheese! I thought that. Um, Hey, no, you know, I'm not gonna say that. To each I'm their own, either. you know what I'm saying? I'm to each none. their own, you know what I'm saying? Hey, yo. That's all it is, man. She said, That's all it is, she man. Said one is, she said one is too good, one is too understanding. I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Like, I, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's the that's the trick, guys. Uh, that's, that's the so secret. Oh, that's the secret. Don't be a don't be the same last name, and then don't know what the fuck she's talking about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's the secret. Oh shit. Okay. Um, that is interesting. I I that was not expected. Um. Okay. So uh. Peter, uh, while we do this, you want to do redemption round? Just add this in a little bit. It's redemption round, we talking about? Like so, like what, last so, word. So the each person has last word. Okay, okay. We're not gonna invite them both. Say who it is first. Invite them both in. Yeah, and then redemption, and then she eliminate. Yeah, each yeah. has a minute. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Because because this could be your last words. Okay, sorry. Anyways, she can still change. Okay, cool. So we're gonna do a redemption round. Okay, so we're gonna have two guys come in again, and um, they're gonna have the last, the last words, and um, you can choose from there. Okay. 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 Oh. Um, they're coming in. Hi guys. Hi boys. So we're gonna do redemption. Uh, where each of one of you guys uh, can have just one last saying of just why she should choose you. Yes, that will be and, good. Um, and uh, Peter, you can go first. And then Tommy. You know, see, I feel like you should choose me because one of the things that stood out to me the most was you said you like hiking. So me, I'm a man who loves to travel. I know a lot of lots of great hiking places. Some places in Alaska, you know, there's some great beautiful mountains in Colorado. Have you ever been there? I've been there a few times, but it's a beautiful place. Definitely some good hiking spots to, you know, to explore. <laughs> okay. So yeah, just just a heads up, you know, you should choose me. We will explore the world together, you know. I'm sick of it just me being just me. Let's go on and, you know, travel. 
Okay. Cool. Uh, Tommy, you're next. Last word. Damn, that's hard to beat. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So why you should choose me? You know, I'm I'm a loving and caring person. You know, if you're the one for me, then I'll do anything for you, and you know, we'll go on cute dates together, do the little things that matter, and and you know, and like I said already, I'm an outdoors person. You know, I'm sure you don't only like camping. I mean, you don't only like hiking. You like camping. You know, I know all of California pretty pretty well for like you know outdoor stuff. If you'd like to come, and uh, I can show you around. So, okay. Tommy's from California. Good to know. Uh, Tommy's cool. Uh, no, that's that's awesome. Um, put one on the chat if you guys want. Got to see to select Peter, or two on the chat for Tommy. I can't see the comments. Can I even read the comments? Hold on. Um, no. <laughs> you cannot. You, can, you cannot. No. <laughs> yeah, you're not. You're not. You're not supposed to. Um, okay. uh, one, one for Peter and two for Tommy, guys. Um, well. Okay. Go and see. Um, you've uh, made hmm? make your decision. Uh, who do you want to? Eliminate uh, the last round. Uh, I like. Okay, give me. I don't know. <laughs> they both sound really similar. I'm not gonna lie, but um, <laughs> I think. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go with gut instinct. It's just. Oh, I'm gonna have to eliminate Tommy. Tommy. <laughs> Tommy is eliminated. Um, no more people. Tommy, can you can you reveal yourself? Yes. What's up? Hi. Oh my hey, god. You, you, lost, you lost a cute man. Tell <laughs> that. I think they're all cute. <laughs> uh, Tommy, oh, any uh, any last words? <sighs> Yeah, I'm going. To, I just want to say uh, good luck to you, and I hope you find a thank you yeah, good-looking man and someone who treats you right. And uh, Peter, have fun, my dude. Thank you. Can I ask you how old are you? Dude, I'm old. I'm 26. I'm 28. <laughs> oh, you're still young. You are still young too. But anyway, <laughs> sorry, I don't know if I was supposed to close that, but nice hey, to age, see. Age don't matter here. Age don't matter here. Before uh, you go, but Tommy. Thank you for being yeah. a good contestant. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Tommy, you were, you were almost there, man. Uh, she told me that you were too understanding. <laughs> too understanding? Okay. Because I knew that I was like, okay, it's not that we don't like nice guys. Okay, we like nice guys. It's be but it's because when you, the thing that got to me was that when you said that uh, over a uh, hundred, it just baffled me. And I'm like, so you're going to wait for that long, for someone that long. I mean, I don't want you to judge anyone based off of their history, but bro, the limit for me is 30. <laughs> like, I don't know how anyone can go past that. If anything lower than that, then. And by the way, I hope you know that all this, my body count is not 18. <laughs> I'm innocent. Oh, what is it then? It is 45. <laughs> my body count is nine. And I'm going to keep it that way. I'm going to keep it that way. <laughs> oh, shit, dog. But you ain't going to have kids? Um... <laughs> what? Well, you're gonna. You're, you're not gonna, gonna have get it. Can, right? I will, but so far I have not hit the double digits, so I'm proud of myself. <laughs> and for you guys, you keep staying a hundred, girl, boy. <laughs> I'm so Are amazed. You the, wait, you're gonna hit the double digits like with your next guy, anyways, right? I'm assuming. Yeah, basically. <laughs> like in number ten, Tommy. Maybe <laughs> next time. Maybe. But yeah, I just had to put it out there because it was so funny to me when you guys kept to stay a hundred. Is that like a normal thing for you guys? No, it's just the number that comes up to our head. We think of it. <laughs> That's not a lot. lot. But thank you for your time and yep. you guys have <laughs> I wish fun. you luck. Uh thanks for joining, brother. Uh I'll see you this weekend. Uh if you're going to Illinium. Yeah, I'll be there. And uh, <laughs> I'll see you this weekend, man. I, All right, you guys have a good night. You too. Have a good night. Good night. And we have Peter, our winner from today. 
The Riz King. Yes, <laughs> sir. Hey, what's up? Hi. Yes, sir, man. I'm not, do I reveal myself now or like uh, do I just um, say what's up? <laughs> not, not yet. Not um, yet. Well, see, I'm glad you chose me because they are going to be on TR because I walk up on every day, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> you made the right selection. <laughs> <laughs> that, that Riz is off the roof. The soft tone of voice too, man. Like you sound like you. You know, like back in the day, like they would like sneak into the girl's house and like talk to them like outside. Like that's yeah. how pure. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Yeah. Boombox and everything, you know, yeah. from microphones. Yeah, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah dude. Riz, Riz. I'm that old school. Um, <sighs> Um, that was great, man. Um, we okay. So last round is done. Um, okay. yeah. So, uh, Peter, are you ready to uh, review yourself? And um, yeah, I don't know. Is um, T ready to see me? Cause I ain't all that. You know, I'm a catfish actually. So <laughs> if she's ready, I'm ready. And, oh. Okay. Yeah. I'm ready to see the big finale right. or the review. Let's do it. <laughs> Big, big something else, but whatever. Uh, it's my, my, my sick mind. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Peter, reveal yourself. You, you know what? Um, I cannot find the hold up. My oh, I got it. The suspense is real. Yo, what's up? <laughs> hey, see, <laughs> so it's Peter, but you can call me tonight. Hi. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, Riz King. <laughs> Uh, just a prince. Um, be king eventually. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, so I want to see, like, what do you, what did you like about Peter? Uh, he's really honest with his questions. He, uh, I think he's just really honest and genuine with his questions. But then, if number one wasn't a vain, maybe I would have gave him a chance. But to shut that, but he won't lie. Yeah, we're not gonna bring that up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But then I also like that he's really outgoing. He cooks, and I love cooking. I love eating. Cooks for every day. <laughs> Who doesn't? And then he also knows a lot of good places. Or at least he's from. I think. Where did you say you were from again? I'm from Colorado. Yeah. So maybe there's a little good hiking okay. spots that we can yeah. like go for. <laughs> cool. Um. So what? Uh. What was the like? Like what made you pick him? Like what was it? Like, oh, this is this is him. Like, was it the food? Was it the hiking? I would say more like uh, hiking, um, being more outdoor, like just doing more outdoor activities. Because I don't, I guess I don't like a boring partner. I want someone that's active and outgoing and has a lot of energy for like to go sightseeing. Because I've been with a partner that doesn't have much energy and it was really boring. <laughs> it it was like you always have to pick up their slack. I mean, which I don't mind, but I guess there's some days where it's just, you just know that they're not compatible for you. Um, cool. Would you, would you guys ever date each other? Do you guys see you guys like just dating? Maybe. <laughs> like, I don't know. I was like, maybe. Peter, Only number 10? Hey, you're the nine and I'm the one you need to be the 10. I was kidding. <laughs> I like that. Get that. Get that real too, man. He's busy all day today. All day. I'm sorry. I love it. I love it. Uh, so uh, I know this is kind of a similar question, but why did you choose uh, Peter out of all the other contestants? Um. um. <laughs> uh, I think it's just because I heard about him before. He, I think he's. Right when he said his name, I don't know, there's lots of Peters, but so I just went with my instinct that it's the Peter that I heard about that makes sushi. Oh. And I love sushi, so why not? Okay. Uh, so <laughs> you know of him already. <laughs> yeah, I know of him. him. Are you guys friends on Facebook or no? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> that is interesting. He said, oh. There we go. Um, I love it. Um, would you guys see each other in real life? And what would you guys do? I think if we would see each other in real life, I think 
I think he will be really shy, but I mean, I will be too, but I'm really the type of person who will like try to open up to someone and like make them feel comfortable. So I initiate the conversation first. And also like, if we were to ever meet, I think we were like, I think we'll just joke around a lot. That's how I see it. <laughs> Peter, where would you go? Where would you take her? Oh man, there's lots of places. Uh, well, I'd probably come to Minnesota because I go there quite often. You know, we'll probably avoid the basic unison, stuff like that. I wanted to take you to like an arcade or museum or like the park or something like that, you know, <laughs> try to get each other, get to know each other genuinely and kind of, you know, explore. Like I said, okay. I love exploring, trying new things, try out new restaurants. You love food. You like sushi. We'll go to the best sushi restaurant in Minnesota. Start from there. Okay. Uh, this is the question for Garland C. Who takes the tab? I... Uh... Honestly, like I said, I never, that's a good question because I never really have anyone ask for this, but I would willing to equally pay half half or pay for myself. But knowing how I was, how I was taught, it's like the guys always take it. But like I said, I know to each their own, they have their different opinions. So if he wants to pay for it, he can pay for it. But I'm willing to pay half half or I'm willing to pay for it. So, how did you feel about that, Peter? It's all good. Like, I want to pay everything. I want to pay all the meals, pay all the drinks. I want to pay the desserts. Because I feel like for me, as a man, if I'm not able to pay for your meal, then it kind of lose like, a little self-respect of myself because I should be the man to be able to support, like, the woman I'm taking out on, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I, I love and respect the fact that she did offer, like, pay half or, like, even, you know, pay at all. Me, I would try to sneak it. Like, yo, I'm going <laughs> to head to the bathroom really quick. I'll go to the waitress, <laughs> take my card, and then... We'll come back to the table like nothing happened. So. That's really sweet. Yeah. That's that's the real test. That's the test right there, guys. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, I guess I have to be more creative yeah, within the future yeah. if it happens. As long as she offers, you know, <laughs> offering is uh Yeah. 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 It's nice. Okay, it's cool. Like um So um do you think you guys would meet in real life anytime yeah. soon? I think so. <laughs> in real, in real life, yeah, I think so. I mean, I, we kind of already did, but you know, in real life, what, yeah. We already did. Yeah. In my dreams. What? Uh, <laughs> oh, oh my god! You got me, Lou. You got me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> me too. <laughs> shit. Oh okay. shit. <laughs> Well, I'm kind of like, I kind of, I'm not gonna lie, I go to the bars a lot at Unity and Mong House, so I wouldn't be surprised if you've seen me before. But, yeah. Well, I don't, actually this year I stopped drinking, so I don't drink at all, so I won't see you at Unity and Mong House. And I didn't go that much back then when I did come to Minnesota. So hopefully if we do meet, and run into each other, it's like at a store, Asian Mall, Mall of America, or something like that. You know, something genuine, a coffee shop, you know, or a boba tea store, so. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. <laughs> um, so this is, uh, a question uh, for Garland C. What does it take to uh, lay with you? That's to lay with say. me? Um, I have, I think, for that, that's a, damn, that's a really personal question. <laughs> but um, Yeah, yeah, what does it take? <laughs> basically, I have to share mutual feelings with you. I can't sleep with just anyone. I can't do one night stands. Um, that's just who I am, and I noticed that about myself, or I know been knowing that about myself. We have to have mutual feelings. Um, I have to like you enough to actually oh, want to lay shit. next to you. Uh, you. So you basically have to be emotionally and physically attracted to me. Um, and then I also like someone. I think the big factor that plays with me is that you. I have to like emotionally connect with you. If I don't feel that connection, that I don't want nothing to do with you. Respect that. <laughs> how many dates how many dates i would honestly i my ex i go to him for a whole year but then <laughs> but then it took us like a good i would say it took us like a good four months to finally like sleep with each other and like to be intimate with each other so that, that would months. take like i guess 10 plus dates Okay, Peter, are you, um, what do you think? How do you feel about that? Uh, I, I see nothing wrong with that. If that, anything else, <laughs> it means you're not an easy girl to, like, be with, you know what I'm saying? It's like, if somebody really wants you, they'll work hard for it. Yeah, not like, you gotta put in the effort. That's how I see it. You gotta put in the effort, you gotta put in the work. 
but it's not just the effort too, it's the connection because what stood out to me is what you said emotionally because yeah. you can put in so much effort for somebody, you can buy in gifts, you can say all these things, words or affirmations, stuff like that. But just because you do that doesn't mean like it'll catch their heart, you know what I'm saying? You want to catch yeah. them, catch them how like they feel. And so I feel like C is kind of the one that's like, you don't just buy stuff for her to win her heart. You have to understand her, you know, get yeah. to know her. I'm not a materialistic you know? girl there. Yeah, 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 exactly. She's not materialistic, so that's that's a major green flag for me. But that's something that I truly respect about C. She knows that too, which is even better because some girls they don't know what they want, they don't know what they're looking for. The fact that C already does, that's everything. <laughs> cool. Okay. Um, a couple more, a couple more questions for you guys. Uh, what's a name? One red flag for you guys, each. Just one uh, major like, red flag. There's a lot, but I gotta think about the major red flag that stands out to me. I would say one major red flag that stands out to me that I have experience oh, from talking to these other guys before is that I don't like I don't care how bad of a term you end up with your ex. I don't like people that talk trash about their ex. That's a red flag. Oh, me. I I like that. I like that. Because <laughs> oh, if they could talk shit about you or tell them about their ex and talk shit about them, what happens? What would, what what would they say about you when you guys are no longer talking or you guys are on bad terms? Interesting. That's something I actually believe in before you mentioned that up because I feel like not just from a relationship standpoint, but you know, being a owner of a restaurant, I when I interview people, I'll say, What's how's your past job? And they'll be like, you know, and they talk shit about it and like, oh, that's a red flag because they'll talk wow. shit about me in the future. So the fact she brought it into relationships stood out to me. I like the mindset. So it kind of similar. <laughs> Peter, what's what's your red flag? My red flag is a lack of communications because me my love mm. language is communication and just understanding so a girl that just doesn't want to try to listen to me and you know won't explain things to what's what's going on in her life or just you know what's wrong you know i love to know like what's going on and see if i can fix it or if i can at least if i can't fix it i'll at least listen i may not know the answers to everything but it's the fact that i want to be there and like you know communicate so the fact if a girl a red flag is just lack of communication i can't like it frustrates me when i talking to somebody and she can't tell me what's wrong you know and it's like it makes me wonder and it starts to become toxic because she could be doing stuff behind my back there could be something wrong that's i'm doing but i can't fix it so that's pretty much it there's more i can go into but <laughs> keep it short and simple cool uh last question man uh this is for peter uh this is gonna be a hard one man oh, yeah. uh so obviously you're the last you're the last person last attendant uh you won um Last question is, do you want to continue this relationship with Godwin C or you want to take a thousand dollar home? <laughs> you know what? I'd rather continue in, in C because, you know. You sure? Yeah, <laughs> no. Like, good because a thousand percent $1, for sure. Rather than a thousand dollars. Money comes and go, but a girl I'd see comes once every lifetime. <laughs> Oh, Thank man. God he chose that because I don't have a thousand dollars. God damn, that was, that was cool. Uh, yeah, that was a test. Maybe that was a test. Maybe that was a but you know, she, she's cool. Oh shit, dude! I would pick her. I should, I should have went for ten k, huh? All right, they like ten k right now. I should have went for the ten k. You would have said ten k. Bye, Colin B. See you. Yeah. Uh, Take me with you. I'm just kidding. Uh, but cool. Uh, hope you guys uh, feel free to connect after uh, Facebook. Um, after this on Facebook, um, you guys are on the same Discord, so uh, feel free to just reach out to each other. Uh, thank you, Peter, for uh, participating, um, coming in clutch. Love you, brother. Um, and Colin T, Thanks, thank you for uh, participating too. Yeah, it was fun. I'll be um, looking forward to your next next contestant. Yeah, yeah it's it. gonna be yeah we'll <laughs> spice it up i dig it i dig it yeah we might even you might even do final round to oh yeah we're gonna come back in a month and uh see what you guys are up to in a month uh just okay. both of you guys and, okay. and uh right. see if you guys are you know doing things or uh not doing things so sounds good all right sounds yeah. good all right guys well you guys have a good night uh we'll talk to you guys soon Okay, thank you. Right. Have a good night. Bye. Uh, wow, that was a good show. Holy crap.
Uh, it went better than I expected, to be honest, guys. Dog, um, dog that, that last bit, that $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> she was so funny, dog. You're like, good. Because I didn't have $1,000. I don't know what the fuck I do with. <laughs> you chose $1,000, dog. I was, I was dying, dude. Oh, that was good, man. That was a good laugh, uh, bro. Ah, <sighs> uh, man. Um, man, Peter, Peter's Riz was off the roof. Holy bro, shit, homeboy dude. Was just, was just boom, 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 boom. That last one, dude. I was like, dude, I came in my pants, bro. He was like, we already met uh, in my dreams. I was like, ooh. Yeah, he damn. fucking pissed me up, man. I was like, dude, I'm going to spread damn. my booty hole, bro. I spread my booty hole for that she, one. Uh, it was just, that, was, that was hard to compete, man. Uh, shout out to Tommy and shout out to Drake. Oh, yeah. Uh, those two guys, they were definitely up there, too, man. Yeah. Um, they, was on, they was on the game, man. man. It's just, it just too bad that, uh, that I... Uh, I, I fucked it, up with Drake. It, you know, if, <laughs> if, uh, my bad, Drake, you still watching Dre, my bad, dog. Yeah. <laughs> if Drake wasn't a Vang, I think his Riz would be, like, I think his Riz is more soft. From the, more soft, you know what I mean? From like, the get-go, yeah. You know? From the get-go, my, my, my yeah. choice was Drake, because he was just, like, soft. Yeah. Like, his voice was just, like, sounded good, dog. I was like, man. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty um, in my pants, bro. Man. Tommy, Tommy's Riz was was uh, more like your mind and your mind forever. Like I, if I you're like, mine, like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be clinging with you, and that's that's just how it's gonna be, yeah. you know. And I, I, that's that's a different kind of love too. Tommy you know? definitely Versus, uh, definitely was like a Cali dude. You know what I'm saying? He's got that Cali vibe, real mm-hmm. chill, real cool. Yeah, like a cool kid. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's got he's got some morals too. He's like, hey man, my girl ain't gonna be doing with some other dude. It's just gonna be me, and uh, I was like, "Yeah, this this guy, okay, you know, she's drawing the line, you know, drawing the line. You gotta draw some line sometimes." Uh, Peter's really laid back, like his riz is just like off the roof, bro. I don't know what to. Homeboy, homeboy, homeboy riz, was quick with it, man. He's quick. Damn. Homeboy was quick with it, Damn. man. Just didn't expect it. He just pulled one out of here, and it worked. And he pulled another one out of here. Man, that boy, that boy is slick, bro. Yeah, that boy, dangerous. He's got some good ribs. He's got, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely not gonna be uh, bring my girl around him. Tell you that. <laughs> yeah. No, I tell you what, though, it's me and her. Up. <laughs> Damn, that's funny. Uh, uh, hey Brian, I see you at Alinium, bro. Um, I'm trying to upgrade my tickets, but um, anyways, I'll see you at Alinium Saturday. Man, uh, today's chat was uh on fire today. Holy shit, I couldn't like catch up on reading of these, dude. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, tomorrow, guys. No, next week we have a new Bachelor Let's. So if you guys are still on, if you guys want to see the next contestant. Peter, do you mind showing uh, the next contestant, please? It should, uh, it yes. should already be up. Yeah, yeah, that's that's her. Um, she is Japanese and Caucasian. Um, she's beautiful. Uh, she's got a, a beautiful attitude. Um, yeah, this is going to be our next contestant. Um, her name is Emma. She's great. I've worked with her. She's um, one of my models I shoot for. And uh, she is down to um, meet some some guys. And um, I'm telling you, I'm telling you guys, man, like she's good looking, but she ain't a hoe. Like she I think her body count is like lower than like three. Like she got morals, bro. But she the thing about her is that she got high standards, dude. Like you gotta bring your A game to riz her up. So uh, we're gonna step it up a notch. You know? Low body count, high standards. So <sighs> expect that guys. Yeah. Um You know, you know, I was hanging out with her dude, and you know, you know the uh the consequences of hanging out with a beautiful woman <laughs> is that you get you get hit on for other dudes. Oh yeah, yeah. They wanna come and they want to come and be friends with you. Bro, so, so we, we went and did the photo shoot, right? The bridge, there's a bridge we across. We're at the other side. 
the I mean my this bridge is like maybe like eight lanes, right? This dude <laughs> you from the other crosses, street. <laughs> crosses the bridge, walks over <laughs> and then jumps over and then introduce himself to me. <sighs> That's funny. Dog. I'm like you did all that, you introduced yourself to me? <laughs> And then he goes to her and be like, hey, you know, and then she was like, oh, you know, COVID, I, I don't want to shake hand. And then he was like, oh, yeah, right, right. And then he took off. Oh, that's so funny. But um, that's a good one. Yeah. The, the consequences, man, you, you, you would need to. Yeah. And just so many cars honking and shit. I'm like, man, I get a, I get to put up with this shit. That shit's funny, though. Uh, but yes, uh, next week we're gonna be hosting another one, uh, Riz number two. We're gonna Riz you guys all February, and we're gonna try to hook you guys up with some love. And um, sorry, we're not. This is not a regular episode. Uh, this is we trying to spice it up a bit in uh, February. We wanted to show some love and connect you guys with some some love. Or well, otherwise, I would say cooch. Uh, <laughs> But eventually, we're going to do reverse as well. We're going to do the guy and then get uh, get the girls. So um, that's going to be the second, the third week of uh, February. So um, look forward for that. That one should be fun. Uh, Rizzing up uh, girls. Um, man, I, I can't keep, keep up with, with chat, man. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to read a couple of the chat before we um, end the stream. Um. We got uh, we got a shout out to Joshua. Joshua was one of the uh, runner ups, but he I think he was busy today. He had a uh, dance classes, I think. Um, we got Mai. Shout out to Mai. So he uh, Mai, if he uh, wants to try, he's got his A game, man. My my home girl, she she wants A game. You you ain't gotta have a big dick. You just gotta have money. <laughs> you just gotta have money, bro. <sighs> Um, it says, uh, cause she says, uh, you, cause you're in LA, you got the number from her. Uh, I met her through a friend. It says, uh, no, she's Caucasian anymore. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not trying to be, uh, kicked. I'm not trying to get kicked out from this platform. So white. Okay. I said it anyways. It was, um, cool. Uh, anything you want to say, Peter? Uh, how did you feel about the, the pod? How did you feel about uh, it? Everybody, everybody enjoyed it in the comments, 100%. Uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed watching it. Man, I was cheesing most of the time. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was, you know, you know, programming all this bullshit. And then, but I was just, just having a great time. A lot of laughter on my end. But I, I was having a good time, man. This is, this is one of, this is, this is a good episode. Uh, next week's going to be yeah, it's so much better, man. I hope, uh, I'm, you know, I'm so glad that everybody's, you know, chatting and mingling. I'm trying to get to you guys too in the chat, but man, I was just, I was just laughing and enjoying myself watching Frankie do his thing and then um, the contestants do their thing. So, I hope you guys uh, stay tuned for next week, every Thursday, right? Every Thursday, 8 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tune in next week and every week after. I think all of uh, February. The plan is to what to do a Riz show. And it will go back to our regular schedule next month. So, stay tuned. Yeah. Um, cool. I'm glad you enjoyed it, man. Uh, yeah, I was. I I kind of figured you were um answering all the comments below. So, uh, I wasn't too worried about that. Which is which is great, man. I don't have to. Yeah. Answer the comments. Oh yeah. Which is Peter. So yeah, the back end guys, if you guys have any comments and stuff, if anything that's wrong, uh you feel free to put it in the comments. Peter will let me know ASAP. Um But yeah, today that ends today's episode, guys. We will see you guys next week on Riz February. Peace out, guys. Have a good night. See you guys next week. Next Thursday, six PM. Don't be late. Pacific time. 8 p.m. Central Time. 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, bye. Yeah.